Greetings, my movie geeks. Tenet was uh, written and directed by Christopher Nolan. It stars John David Washington, Robert Pattinson, uh, Elizabeth Debicki, and Kenneth Branagh, among others. It follows the protagonist who tries to stop a potential world-ending threat caused by Kenneth Branagh. Uh, the acting in this film is extremely well done. Uh, even though you, you've read beforehand that some of the actors didn't even know how the story would come together and watching it i can understand why they were so um confused shall we say uh, the major premise of this is that a form of time travel has been invented and it turns out that if <laughs> it falls into the wrong hands everything could change uh, so it's up to washington to try and stop it. This film, I feel like, is a load of set pieces and the central premise, whereas the story around it isn't fully there. I read that uh, Nolan has had this idea for about 10 years and it's taken him quite a while to put it down on, on paper and, and write it up. And I feel like you can see this, especially with some of the early scenes with Washington as he's, he's going round uh, different characters and, and being told different bits of information. So it's up to him to, to discover everything. And the, the first, say, half an hour of the film is him going round from different characters, including Michael Caine, um, learning different bits and it's almost like it's just exposition dump after exposition dump. And I, I, I'll be honest, in the cinema I was a little bit like, is this where we're going? And I don't know that in, say, Inception and Interstellar, you had these long, talky scenes between the characters who would just, just blurt out what you're supposed to do, where we're supposed to go. And, and the rules, especially in Inception, when uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt Levitt, can't say that name. He is talking to Ariadne and he's just spewing everything that the audience needs to know about this this fictional world. But it is just exposition. And it just it, it's not something that you, you want to see in this sort of film. Or maybe just a little bit, but it's you, you want to see more of the action. And you do get that. Later on in the film, there is there is a lot of action set pieces in this. A real plane crashed into a building. Um, and what made me laugh was Robert Pattinson, who I think is the stand-in for Christopher Nolan in his films, or in this film especially. Him and Washington are walking down the street, and he says, I've got an idea, but you won't like it. And it's almost like he's he's written verbatim how he approached Warner Brothers about doing this massive set piece. And it, it did make me laugh in the film. But again, that was another scene where they're talking about stuff instead of doing stuff. I don't know. The set pieces, like I say, there's that one and you've got a, a car chase scene on a highway, which is extremely well done, very well choreographed and I really did enjoy that one. And it is it's quite good because if you know the premise, if you've seen the film, everything ties into everything else. And Christopher Nolan knows what he's doing. He knows where he's writing. He knows what he wants to show. Music, which, which I always think is a standout in a Christopher Nolan film, uh, this time was composed by Ludwig Göransson, who is off the back of uh, The Mandalorian. Um, in this... The music does work well and is, is kind of part of the story, especially in some of the set pieces. Um, but 
and if you've watched some of my reviews and videos, I love Hans Zimmer scores. But this just didn't seem to resonate or even leave a lasting impression on me. There were good moments and good parts, especially when, uh, especially on the, the highway chase. It worked really well there. One thing that did stand out to me is the film was very, very loud. Now, I don't know if this is a, a reaction to COVID and not being in the cinema, because I used to go a lot five months of not going to the cinema and maybe my, my ears have become too sensitive. <laughs> Don't know, maybe it's my age. But yeah, it's a very entertaining film. I think I'm going to have to have another uh, viewing before I do my spiral review. I'd give it a, th ooh, a three out of five. Uh, for the film that's supposed to save cinema, yeah, it's three out of five. I'm not... Don't get me wrong, I'm saying three out of five. I do think it's a good film. I just think I need to rewatch it and make sure I understand it better <laughs> properly, if that makes sense. Um, if any of you have seen it, let me know uh, uh, on Twitter, Movie Ultimate. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think, James. I know people are worried about COVID and that, but uh, for the first film back, you'd think there'd be more, especially for a Christopher Nolan film. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below and on Twitter, Movie Ultimate. And thank you for watching and look out for the spoiler review. Oh,